In this question, we're asking how much is three groups of five? Three groups of five is what? Well, how many groups are we talking about? Three. One, two, three. And how many in each group? Well, it says here, five. One, two, three, four, five. They have to be the same size for multiplication. There we are. Three groups of five. There are five teddies in each group or in each bowl in this case. Hmm. I wonder how much that is. You could count it up the slowest way by ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. You could count by fives. Five, ten, fifteen. You could re you could recognize a double five here. And then add another group of five. Double five is 10. Add one more group of five is 15. Or you might even remember your multiplication facts and know that three times five or three multiplied by five is 15. Or you can phrase it the other way. Five times three or five multiplied by three is 15. So let's put that in. Three groups of five is 15. Are there other ways of looking at three groups of five or five groups of three? Sure. Let's have a look. Now we have the same three groups of five, but they're not in bowls this time. You can see they are in rows and you can count them in the same manner. Five, 10, 15, or you can recognize 10 and five more is 15. Anything will work. It might be helpful also to start to get used to seeing them near each other like this. It helps you see the, that they're multiplied. They're the same size groups. 5, 10, 15. And once you put them next to each other like this, well, now you have what we call an array. Now, the, the way we were reading it before, we are reading it as three groups. One group, two groups, three groups, which made up the 15. But here's a little trick. Check this out. Yeah, maybe you can see the groups differently now. One group, two groups, three groups, four groups, five groups of three. Hmm, let's record that for a moment. There you are. Three groups of five is 15, and five groups of three is 15. So no matter which way you look at it, be it this way or that way, or if you count a group going this way, or you count a group going up and down, you're going to end up with the same value at the end, the same product, that is all the counters all together. How can that be recorded? Well, like this, or like this. In either case, you'll end up with 15. Now, over here, you can read this as saying three groups of five, or three times five, or three multiplied by five. Different people have different understandings about how you should say that and draw it, but so long as you understand that this is what is happening in terms of its multiplication when we repeatedly add the same size group. So count it as three groups of five, you'll get 15. If you count it as five groups of three, you'll end up with 15. I hope that helps.